Arsenal turnaround, Fabrizio Romano drops bombshell. Arsenal signs secret deal with new reinforcement, and the media goes into a frenzy over the Arsenal star's performance against Liverpool. Discover all this and much more now with the latest Arsenal news. But before that, if you're also passionate about Arsenal, subscribe to our channel right now to stay informed about everything happening behind the scenes of the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's get into today's key news. Transfer journalist Fabrizio Romano has now claimed that Tokihiro Tomiyasu has just agreed a new contract with Arsenal. Arsenal have been without Tokihiro Tomiyasu in recent weeks, as he has been competing with Japan at the Asia Cup. Japan were knocked out of that competition by Iran in a quarter-final clash on Saturday, meaning the defender is now free to return to the Emirates Stadium. If the £19.8 million former Bologna man can stay fit, he will surely play a key role for the North London club between now and the end of the season. However, staying fit consistently has proven to be an issue for Tomiyasu so far in his Arsenal career. He has only made one Premier League appearance for Mikel Arteta's side since December 2nd, as he was sidelined with a calf injury prior to be called away on international duty. Whilst there is no doubting the 25-year-old's talent and his usefulness to the squad given his versatility, his persistent lack of availability is a real cause for concern. Many Arsenal fans have suggested that Arsenal ought to hold off on offering Tomiyasu a new contract, until he has proven that he can be relied upon to stay fit for an extended period. However, Arteta and the Arsenal board clearly have enough faith in Tomiyasu and his body to not want to waste any time in securing his future at the Emirates Stadium. Were Arsenal wise to offer Tokihiro Tomiyasu a new contract at this time? As reported by Fabrizio Romano on X, fresh terms between the 41-cap Japan International and the North London club have now been agreed and sealed. If Tomiyasu can stay fit for the remainder of the campaign, then he stands a strong chance of usurping left-back Oleksandr Zinchenko in the pecking order. He is more defensively solid than the Ukrainian, who has previously been dubbed a weakness at the back. Whilst Tomiyasu is not as proficient on the ball as a creative influence as the former Manchester City man, he has improved in this regard. Tomiyasu's two-footedness also allows him to replicate the inverted style of play which Zinchenko specializes in. Until Tomiyasu has proven that he can avoid injury or fitness setbacks on a long-term basis, though, doubts will remain over the wisdom of offering him a new contract at this time. However, at the very least, this move protects the club's investment in the player, as a long-term contract will preserve his transfer value, allowing Arsenal to attract a better fee for the player should they decide to move him on. Absolute beast, journalist blown away by £240,000 a week Arsenal star v Liverpool. Declan Rice produced another titanic performance in the middle of the park for Arsenal against Liverpool on Sunday afternoon. Arsenal midfielder Declan Rice was imperious against the Reds at the Emirates Stadium. Alongside veteran Jorginho in the middle of the pitch, Rice ensured that Arsenal won the midfield battle against Jurgen Klopp's league leaders. Certainly in the first half, when the Gunners were utterly dominant, the former West Ham United man was magnificent, as he never allowed an opponent to settle on the ball, he was combative in his duels, and persistently sought to play the ball forward when he had it at his feet. Whilst Zorgino caught the eye with a player of the match performance, it was the manner in which the duo worked in tandem which propelled Mikel Arteta's side to this statement 3-1 victory. The numbers tell the story of Rice's performance. According to Who Scored Statistics, the 25-year-old made four tackles against Liverpool, more than any other player on the pitch. He also contributed with two interceptions and two clearances. In possession, he played two key passes and delivered three crosses into the box. Prior to the match, Rice provided an insight into how he prepares for matches such as this one. Clearly, the £240,000 a week star's preparation stood him in good stead to shine on this huge stage. Declan Rice proving that Arsenal spent wisely. As stated by the athletic journalist, Jordan Campbell, writing on X, Declan Rice has been an absolute beast in midfield today. He has won the ball back a ridiculous amount of times. Limitless performance. Of course, Rice has consistently impressed since his arrival at the North London club in the recent summer transfer window. It was for matches like this one, which matter hugely in the context of the Premier League title race, 
that the gunner splashed out a club record £105 million fee on him for, though. Against the Reds, the 48-cap England international provided yet more evidence that that was money well spent. Arsenal are now right back in the heat of the title race, just two points behind Liverpool thanks to this result. As such, there will be plenty more big matches between now and the end of the campaign. If Arsenal are to stand any chance of being crowned champions this season, it is vital that Rice remains fit and firing on all cylinders, and can continue to step up when the big occasion demands it of him. Arsenal are now a watching £43 million sensation who could be ideal Ivan Tony alternative. Arsenal have been linked with several strikers ahead of the summer transfer window, with it clear that Mikel Arteta wants to add more firepower to his squad. Gabriel Jesus has been criticised for his output this season, and all signs point towards Arsenal signing a new striker at the end of the season. Ivan Toni and Victor Osman have been heavily linked, but both players would cost a significant fee, whilst there are question marks over Toni's attitude and Osman's adaptability to the Premier League. It now appears that Arsenal have their eyes on a different forward, as RB Leipzig's Benjamin Sesko is on their radar. Bundesliga expert Christian Falk has now told court offside that Arsenal, as well as AC Milan, are interested in 20-year-old striker Benjamin Sesko. Benjamin Sesko, 20, came in the summer for €24 million Euros to Leipzig. AC Milan is currently offering €40 million, Euros, he stated. Arsenal are also watching the attacker. He has an exit clause of €50 million, Euros, contract until 2028. €50 million Euro converts to just under €43 million, pounds, and this is a significantly lower fee than Osman's release clause of around £112 million, pounds, and Tony's reported asking price of £100 million. Pounds. Although he is relatively young, Sesco could be an excellent option up front as an alternative to Jesus in the squad. Jesus excels outside of the box, but has admitted he has room to improve when it comes to his finishing. The 20-year-old has scored for times in just six Bundesliga starts this season, and overall has eight goals in 25 games for Leipzig. This comes from a productive spell at RB Salzburg, where he scored 29 and assisted 11 in 79 games, mostly as a teenager. At 1.95m tall, he offers great physicality and aerial threat inside the box, but this does not detract from his mobility, and he hits his shots with great power. He is someone who can play instead of or alongside Jesus and has the potential to develop into a complete forward at a bargain price, and would also represent a much better long-term investment than a big money move for Tony, given his age. Whilst it would be something of a gamble, his release clause means that Arsenal could even sign Sesko as well as another attacker, and they could potentially spend less than £90 million on the Slovenia international as well as winger Nico Williams and have changed a spare compared to a potential deal for Tony or Osman. Well, folks, those were today's news. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay informed about everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell so you won't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us and see you in the next video.